Welcome, DTM DeFi Pick of the Week. Justin and Corey here, taking you through something a little bit newer on the market here today. Uh, full disclosure, it is a like a six-month-old project, so definitely do your research. Don't ape in. Um, I stumbled across this one seeing a chart on TradingView and looking at it like, wow, this thing is juicy, ready to pop. So made a quick 25% and then started diving deeper. And actually, this looks like a pretty cool project. So we wanted to bring it to your attention here today. It could be one that turns out to be really, really big in the space because it is based out of Tokyo, Japan in the gaming space. So metaverse token, uh, gaming industry, utility token used inside the ecosystem. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, Justin, over to you. So coming to CoinGecko here, so it is red token. So if you're searching for this, make sure you put in red token. There's a few other that have the same ticker. So just looking at the info that we love CoinGecko for here. So like Corey said, very, very new. So we don't even have a market cap on this guy. It's 25 million market cap. So some of the information can be found on other DeFi tools. That's where uh, it doesn't quite have all the listing. It doesn't show everything because it only has two exchanges that it's showing. So it won't show a number yet. It needs a third exchange to list and show that number compared to everything else. And that's where the circulating supply will come in. But uh, you can see some of that stuff on the DeFi tools that we cover in uh, the DeFi course. We do have a total supply here as well. So it's good to see that that's capped. That's one of the biggest things I look for. We can see that it is built on the Ethereum network and then their website. So using the Etherscan token, but coming down, I like looking at the chart here. So to the max. Yeah. So we're only going back till September of this year. Did have a nice little run up. And then like most of these new projects, when they get listed, they have a nice pump and then they tend to stabilize and, and find their little spot. Um, but 97% down from the all time high. And then we're only 15% to close to 16% from the all time low. So this could be an interesting one. It is moving on the shorter time periods as well. So we got a little bit of a move here. So definitely something to look at. Like Corey said, it was the chart that really, you know, made us stumble across this. So coming over to the website here, it's kind of a, a neat website, a little bit going on here, but biggest thing reimagining uh entertainment for the next generation so integrating you know blockchain decentralized currencies to be able to pay for basically it looks like uh it's like a chuck e cheese kind of setup you know there's <laughs> entertainment got, center yeah so was to, there was a um, bunch we went to when we were kids i was trying to think of the names of them but like the rec room rec room style yeah, like you go in here, we used to do paintball stuff like that, um, where you go in gaming, um, military style games or racing games or, you know, a bunch of different styles. So they've got the largest esports park in red, in red Tokyo Tower, um, which is somewhere that people go just to experience Tokyo Tower. So pretty cool stuff. Uh, Tokyo is, it was fairly, you know, shut down for a fair while, but it is opening up um, over the last few months. So this could be, looking at the charts, uh, a good time to start really looking at adding some position. Um, this could be, you know, a doge moment where you don't really know, you know, there's some question, you're not putting a whole lot of money onto it, but it could be a longer position that could really pay off too. So uh, I was telling Justin before we hopped on this one, there is a little bit of concern over the allocation, which is perfect right here. So we use some DeFi tools to look at the spread of the token allocation on bubble maps. It's not necessarily a concern, but it's exactly where we start looking. Okay, where are these coins? Why do these ha wallets have a certain percentage of the token total so token supply? So that those market those <laughs> wallets are the marketing wallets. So there's three for marketing wallets that are five percent. The advisors, um, the team, the consulting, and then the ecosystem and treasury. So there's a fair chunk of change held up right there. Um, that's being held for in a 
I believe four years. So I, I, I don't want to say that for sure, for sure, Ver verify with the white paper, but that's something that I was looking at. I'm like, oh, maybe we better double check because 17, 17 wallets have 70% of the total supply, but 40% of that's the ecosystem and the treasury, right? So those are going to be time released by playing games, by participating in the economy, you know, rewards, stuff like that. Um, you dive deeper into it and it's relieved most of my concerns. I'm definitely trading it. We're using it on KuCoin. Um, I made 25% um, Christmas Eve. So it was kind of a cool Christmas present. Um, and it could be one that really pays off long term as well. So uh, it, it looks like a fun, exciting token that could go huge. So they've got an app already, uh, Apple and Android. So that's super rare as well. You know, for a project that's only three to six months old, it's got a lot going for it already. So that's to me, you know, they've had some pretty good funding um pretty good names in the space if you dive into who owns them who backs them and uh yeah I, there's a reason i had to bring it up today because it's just a little bit too good to not talk about and it could be the one that we regret not letting our audience our community know ahead of time right so uh I, I, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So definitely buying a small bag. I've been trading a small bag. Um, can't say I'm moving it off ex exchange yet. I got much more research to do before I move, you know, Ethereum tokens off exchange, just because they're likely coming out with their own chain or, you know, they, they might switch. So we'll see. It's one I'm going to keep an eye on. But if you keep them on KuCoin, you know, you risk not having... Uh, the keys, but if there's a coin swap to a new blockchain, which does happen quite often from Ethereum, you know, Binance coin itself was initially on Ethereum and moved to Binance Smart Chain, right? So um, you don't want to get caught with coins in a dead wallet or, uh, you know, dead coins in, in your wallet. So um, pretty cool stuff. Keep in mind, there was just a warning that, you know, it's uh, translated by machine, so it might not be totally accurate, but... Uh, Pretty cool stuff. I would, I would say, I would want to visit this place if I was in Tokyo again. I'm, uh, I'm smiling, looking at this <laughs> for the tower. It just, it reminds me of those rec centers that we used to go yeah. to. Yeah, cool bowling, like a laser, uh, laser tag, like you name it. It had everything. <clears throat> and this tower, yeah. it's a cool project. Like, yeah very interesting they got some partnerships here you know I, i've heard of samurai guild games before not super formula but yeah. these guys are players in that industry the entertainment industry and like you said to to get listed on both app stores being as new as they are it's They've interesting got a big push they've been developing for a year at least you know to get their token listed on the exchanges and everything so they've done a lot right so um it's worth looking at i think one thing before we sign off here again um if you've been following us for any time i'm sure you've come across this before but very very important when you're looking at these newer projects or projects that you're not super familiar with or have a lower market cap Come into CoinGecko, scroll down to the exchanges and see what your liquidity is before you start putting positions on. You know, like if, if you're throwing a thousand dollars at this thing, you're gonna spike that thing six percent minimum. So yeah, you're spread it out over five yeah. or six allocations if you're doing market orders, or be a bit more patient with limit orders. The volume is there, so yeah, we have a really good point, Justin. Thank you. It's it's super cool. You know, diving through these DeFi projects and seeing how they're being integrated in different ways. Um, you know, we've come across some digital identity stuff. Now we've come across some physical and metaverse entertainment style projects. Like DeFi's just got such such potential in so many different areas. It's it's just exciting going through these. And Red Token was was a pretty interesting one to go through. So Absolutely. And that kind of takes us into the combo presale that uh, is ending in just a few days. So as of January 1st, the DeFi presale bundle is over. Um, so if you act now, you can get it for an additional six months access. You get the wallets course included as well. So 720 
for a year access instead of 780 for six months. And then the wallets of course is going up to $85 as well, 84.95. So uh, we are adding a monthly call to that one as well. So there was a lot of, a lot of people asking if there was going to be a monthly call and we wanted to, you know, make sure that people are well equipped and prepared with everything that they need to transition off of exchanges, just with you know, everything coming out. It's, the demand was <laughs> worth looking into or worth listening to for sure. There's so many people, it's record, you know, people moving coin off exchange. So tremendous, tremendous opportunity for DeFi, you know, coins like this, projects like this, as well as uh, some of the other ones that we're covering here. I think as we move into 2023, this next cycle that we're moving into, um, DeFi is going to be a massive player in that uh just with everything that's been going on globally with the banking systems traditional financial systems bank accounts getting shut down central exchanges getting shut down and commingling funds like that's all of these yeah. things it's just pushing it's pushing us towards DeFi. it's showing why decentralized finance is so important decentralized anything for that matter but in the financial or why it's so important and the opportunities it can bring is it's endless, right? Like the money that these banks make by lending up their money and doing mortgages and insurance and all that. We can't participate in those activities because they're established in that system. DeFi opens that up. If you've got just cash laying around that you don't need, you can be an insurance claim backer. You can lend out your coin over collateralized. So very, very low risk when it comes to you know, people flopping on their payments and things like that. You've already got an over collateralized asset for what you lent out. There's so many solutions in that space and, and more and more development come in because of what's happened here over the last, you know, three years, but more specifically the last few months here recently in the crypto space. So now's the time, get ready, get excited. I'm, I'm excited. I'm smiling. I'm still I'm still smiling after looking at that red red tower. <laughs> I thought it was weird, you know. We grew up with some a, a game center called Reds, where we would go play video games, <laughs> and we'd spend the day there, you know, birthday party style, right? As kids, so Red Token and doing something similar in Japan Tower, you know, that's huge, Tokyo Tower. So, as always, let us know in the comments if you enjoyed this, if you found value. Um, as well as topics, coins, projects that you want us to cover more in depth. So the space is massive. We always want to uh, listen to the audience and hear what people are really after and provide solutions as well. So it's not just about you know covering these, but we also put out educational tutorials and how to's. So much more to come. Uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a massive 2023. So lots more opportunity to come. Good safe, everyone.